All right, so, so far what we have done is the epithelial tissue and the, and the connective tissue, right? So epithelial and connective tissue are done, and now we are going to start off with another important tissue that is present in our body. It's called the adipose tissue, okay? Adipose tissue is a type of a specialized connective tissue, okay? I'll tell you what that is, but let's just call it a specialized uh, connective tissue, right? So adipose tissue is a specialized connective tissue. And in anatomy, you have understood the concept of fat being present in our body. There's different kinds of fats, uh, fat that is present uh, inside our body. When you study anatomy, you learn about two uh, major types of fat that is present inside our body. Number one, we have the fat that is under the skin, and that is referred to as the subcutaneous fat. Cutaneous would mean skin, and then subcutaneous would mean under the skin, the fat that is under the skin. So that is the adipose tissue that is present under the skin. And then we also have the visceral fat. The visceral fat is present around the organs, around the viscera. So that, that is why it is referred to as the visceral fat, because it is present around the viscera. Okay, so what is the function of all of this fat present inside our body? Well, the function of this fat or the adipose tissue um, is to, uh, number one, insulation. Insulation against loss of, loss of heat, right? And then we also have uh, cushioning. Cushioning against mechanical damage, against friction. And then uh, number three, we have a very important function of the adipose tissue is that it serves as a storage uh, tissue. So it's storage of fats or what we refer to in biochemical terms, what we call fat is, are triglycerides. Okay, triglycerides are stored inside adipose tissue. And what are triglycerides? Triglycerides are large molecules made up of made up of, when you break down triglycerides, yeah? You break them down by lipases, physiology and biochemistry concern here. When you break them down, you get, you get fatty acids, right? And, and glycerol. So triglycerides are stored inside the adipose tissue and they are, they, they contain fatty acids and glycerol. In biochemistry, you learn about fatty acid metabolism and how fatty acids are important in our body. So these, the adipose tissue help, helps uh, uh, the body to store the triglycerides, store these fatty acids so that they can be utilized um, when they are needed by the, by the human body. All right, so adipose connective tissue is a specialized connective tissue. It's a specialized type of connective tissue that performs the function of insulation, that is protection from the loss of heat, it cushions the organs, pro protects them from mechanical damage, and most importantly, it does the storage of triglycerides, storage of fatty acids and glycerol in the form of triglycerides. All right, so before we begin officially with the histology of this chapter, I would like to go over some of the uh, some of the basics of physiology and see what is happening because I want to build a concept of what is happening and then interrelate it with the histology. So a little bit of physiology here is that um, what happens is I'm going to use uh, this little diagram here. Okay, so what happens is to store these triglycerides, what happens is uh, that we eat the fats, right? So in diet, we have dietary fats or dietary lipids, right? We eat them they come into the stomach and the small intestine and here they are digested by lipases right so lipases they digest them into digest triglycerides into fatty acids and glycerol right so triglycerides the dietary triglycerides are digested into fatty acids and glycerol and then these are absorbed uh, into uh, into the human body and uh, these are then again reformed into triglycerides okay so the triglycerides that are digested into fatty acids and glycerol are converted again into triglycerides but this time inside the human body this right here is inside the lumen of the intestines this here in in the body okay after they are absorbed then these are transported into large molecules called chylomicrons i'm going to be drawing them in blue actually Let's draw them in blue for no reason. Chylo 
microns, okay? So these are chylomicrons that, uh, that take in the triglycerides that are reformed in the body after being absorbed. Um, so what eventually happens to these chylomicrons is that they enter the lacteals or the lymphatics, right? The lacteals are small lymphatics that merge into larger lymphatics and then they uh, go into the thoracic duct and from the thoracic duct they enter into the systemic circulation. So essentially what I'm saying is that um, I'm going to use the yellow color here. So we have fats coming in into the digestive system and here they're being digested into fatty acids and glycerol and then they enter into uh, or they're absorbed by the intestinal mucosa where they are converted into chylomicrons and then these chylomicrons go into the lacteals the lymphatics and from the lymphatics they are transferred into the systemic circulation and and uh, we are going to look at what happens after that uh, in just a bit uh, so let's come to this uh, diagram right here that I'm going to be using to uh, further enhance this concept. So we had the chylomicrons that were coming from the GI. So chylomicrons come from the GI tract because they're digested and absorbed there and then inside the GI mucosa they are, re uh, their triglycerides are, are reformed uh, from fatty acids and glycerol and they enter into chylomicrons. These are the transport large molecules that contain <laughs> triglycerides among other things uh, that you learn in biochemistry. Uh, so chylomicrons are one form of uh, transport molecules that uh, contain triglycerides. Another form is referred to as uh, lipoproteins, and these are made in the liver. So lipoproteins, I'm going to write this over here, lipoproteins. And these are made in the liver. I'm going to be using the color blue for them, so let's choose uh, the dark blue. And imagine these are the lipoproteins that basically are synthesized in the liver. They contain the triglyceride that is synthesized in the liver. Um, but uh, GI uh, was making chylomicrons, which contain the triglycerides that was absorbed in the GI. So liver is lipoproteins, GI is chylomicrons that contain both, uh, that both contain triglycerides. So from the liver, these uh, lipoproteins enter the systemic circulation, and from the lacteals, we have the chylomicrons coming in to the systemic circulation um, from the from the GI tract. So these contain synthesized triglycerides, and these contain absorbed uh, triglycerides. So we have these and then these together, and all of them travel in, in the body, um, and they may travel to the adipose tissue. Now, what happens when they reach the capillary beds of the adipose tissue is that the adipose tissue contains some receptors over here that are able to detect special proteins that you study in physiology or biochemistry, uh, special proteins present on these chylomicrons and lipoproteins that are able to detect or recept their presence. And what it does is that that capillary bed, then after reception of these two molecules, chylomicrons and, uh, and lipoproteins, what it does is that it releases an enzyme called lipoprotein lipase or LPL for short, okay? And then this enzyme is able to break down the triglycerides. So let's just uh, uh, use these uh, little circles as uh, the chylomicron and the and the lipoprotein. And these are basically digested. The triglycerides in them are, are digested. So these contain TGs, okay? And these TGs are digested by lipoprotein lipase that's released by the adipose tissue uh, capillary bed. And these TGs are then converted back into fatty acids plus glycerol. And these are then able to go, these TGs are then able to go into the adipose tissue in the form of fatty acids and glycerol. So this fatty acid and glycerol goes into the adipose tissue. The adipose tissue absorbs it. And what it does is that it reforms this adipose tissue and glycerol into triglycerides. And that's how it is stored inside the adipose tissue as triglycerides. So initially we started with triglycerides in the GI. Uh, let's go over here. So we had the GI, we had triglycerides coming in, we ate them, uh, these were digested by lipases in the intestine and absorbed, and uh, absorbed as fatty acids and glycerol, and then these were converted into triglycerides and put into chylomicrons. The chylomicrons entered the lymphatics, and from the lymphatics they went into the systemic circulation. Similarly, we had some triglycerides being synthesized in the liver. Inside the liver we had lipoproteins being synthesized, and these lipoproteins also came into the systemic circulation. Now inside the systemic circulation, these both these molecules, chylomicrons and lipoproteins, they travel um, to the capillary beds of adipose tissue. And inside the adipose tissue, they are recepted by special receptors that then release an enzyme called lipoprotein lipase, which digests them, breaks them down into fatty acids and glycerol inside the capillary beds of the adipose tissue. And then this fatty acid uh, and glycerol is absorbed into the adipose tissue. Yeah, and then it is reformed into triglyceride and stored. End of physiology.